What's up guys, it's Zeph from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 95, Budget Edition. And let me remind you guys again, every single time, budget doesn't mean poor. People can have high budgets, people can have smaller budgets, but all the setups in this episode will be not high-end setups, if that makes any sense. So with that said and done, let the Setup Wars begin. Here's a pretty cool black and red setup from Elias. He's using a 24 inch Samsung monitor that's hooked up to his GTX 970 and he's also got the 6600K processor in there as well. The desk is from Ikea and it's the Freddy workstation which is pretty cool because it has a top shelf to store some things as well as two side shelves for speakers and a bottom shelf for a subwoofer or a smaller PC. It's also not that expensive. For $229 you get a really solid workstation with lots of space. Elias is also rocking the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard and an Exabel wireless mouse. And for audio, he's using the Trust GXT38 speakers and also a pair of Beats Studio headphones hanging from the desk. That's actually pretty cool. Looks like the desk comes with some knobs near the top for hanging things like headphones, for example. No complaints on cable management. Looks like the Signum is doing its job. And that pretty much wraps up this balanced setup. Not expensive at all. A fairly decent budget setup. Thank you, Elias, for entering. Here's another very clean setup. Magnus is using a 24 inch AOC monitor, CM Storm Quickfire TK keyboard and a SteelSeries Rival 100 mouse. He doesn't use any headphones with his setup, instead he's sticking with his creative Trig or TrigU 3000 speakers and that's pretty much it on the surface other than some props on the left side. The PC that's powering the monitor has an i5-6600 and a GTX 1060. Excellent work with the cable management, everything is under control, and even managed to hook up the creative speaker controls and RGB remote under the desk as well. What else can I say? A pretty simple and straightforward setup. Thank you Magnus for entering. At number 3 we got Louis with an interesting custom desk that he made himself and I'm assuming painted himself as well. Looks like the monitor stand and speaker stands were also made by him. But was black and red a good choice for this setup though? I mean, you got green accents on the Mackie CR4 speakers, silver accents on the 27 inch Dell monitor and PC case. It doesn't really go well together. At least your parts inside the PC are black and red. We got the 6600K and an MSI GTX 1060 and a black and red Lambo as a prop. I think it's a Lambo. The keyboard he's using is the Logitech Orion G610 and we also have a Logitech Anywhere 2 wireless mouse. He's not really showing off his entire cable management area so I can't really judge that but from what I can see from the hole drilled in the desk and the cable raceway in the back of the desk it's actually managed pretty well. Other than the color scheme I think he did a pretty good job with the custom work in this setup. Thank you Louis for entering. Now here's a pretty dope looking blue and white setup from Sen. He's rocking a 25 inch Dell monitor, Lenovo wireless keyboard and Logitech G602 mouse. For audio, he's using the Logitech G430 headphones that are chilling on the Philips LED lamp on the desk and he also has a pair of Alright speakers as well, which apparently doesn't exist. I tried looking everywhere for these and <laughs> I cannot find them. He does have a 13 inch MacBook Pro on the desk for work and portability, but the main PC that's powering the setup has an i5-6600K and an RX 470 inside a case that I haven't yet seen. Based on the images on Google, it looks like the Aerocool P7 case, but this one has a full tempered side panel and the P7 doesn't, so I'm not really sure if this was modded or not. Not much going on under the desk in terms of cable management except that one wire running alongside the wall. Now I know it's only a single wire but even adding a cable raceway like this will clean it up a lot. It's basic art. Straight lines are sexy as opposed to wavy lines. Ask anyone. Other than that I don't really have any recommendations or complaints to be honest. The setup is not cluttered at all and I think it's put together very nicely. Thank you Sen for entering. Last but not least we have Valentine with a very refreshing setup, definitely a chill environment as well. I don't know what it is with brick walls but it really changes the ambiance of the entire room. Because it doesn't look like an average bedroom, I think that's why. Anyway, so he has a single Philips monitor resting on a monitor riser which by the way he made himself along with the entire desk. He also has the Mad Cat's Strike 3 gaming keyboard and Corsair's Scimitar mouse. I definitely like that he kept consistent with the color scheme throughout. He's also got the Logitech G230 headphones with the red ear cups, a red windscreen on his Divine microphone, and of course red LEDs to top everything off. 
The PC that's probably in the setup has a 6700K and a GTX 970 Turbo Edition GPU inside the Sharkoon case. With the release of Ryzen, I'm hoping to see more AMD builds in the future. Cable management looks good under the desk, however the headset cable is really obtrusive and the best way to solve that is to mount the headset on the other side of the desk and route the cable under the desk and into the back of the PC. It will definitely clean up the surface of the desk a lot. But other than that, it's a pretty clean setup. Thank you, Valentine, for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. Make sure you guys use the app Nice and vote on who you think has the best budget desk setup. I'll announce the winners on my social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.